I need one person as a volunteer. One person as a volunteer. Somebody, I just need somebody, okay, come on up. Now, here's the thing about your volunteer job. Let me get my, um, if something goes wrong, I'll, I'll have to go to the hospital, but, you, but it's, it's easy. What you have to do is easy. No, 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 no come here. You, you're, you're good. No, you won't, it, you won't get hurt at all. Okay, the reason why I need you is because I'm going to be wearing this during my demonstration, okay? But I'm not going to be wearing it this way. I'm going to be wearing it this way as a blindfold, okay? So I'm going to need you to be kind of helping me out with, with uh, something that will keep me safe. Go stand back there for a sec. I've got right here, what's your name? Addison. Addison. So Addison, feel this for a second. Just, what do you think? Weighs three or four pounds, made of metal? Yeah. Something like that. Anybody know what this is? It's, it, this is, no, it's, it's a, a piston from a truck. So this is from a, a, truck, um, a truck engine. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you see it's on a string. What do you call something that's on a string that can swing? Pendulum, okay, it's a pendulum. So I'm gonna pull this pendulum back and I need um, one teacher, if one teacher would go, or Kim, if you'll go and stand in the hall right there and just make sure um, that nobody walks down the hall towards me. Now, notice that this is gonna swing, so let's make sure you don't get hit. Okay, you're safe. Okay, now, you're gonna help keep me safe by holding onto my collar and keeping, and pull back just a little and keep me from leaning forward, okay? <laughs> Now, I'm going to give this thing some of my breakfast. Wait a minute. Why am I saying I'm giving it some of my breakfast? Because I'm sure it's passing in. Yeah, I've, I've lifted this thing up. It's got now, what do you call energy when something can fall? Uh, yeah, gravitational potential energy, right? You have the potential, young piston, to fall, OK? Now, if you want to go, you can go before. And um, if you'll just wait just for one second. Okay, and I'm gonna get blindfolded, get my, okay, here we go, I'm gonna let go. She's gonna keep me from leaning forward. Addison's my pressure on my neck, just to keep me from leaning forward. You don't have to pull me back too hard, sorry. And you'll see that it does not hit me in the face. How come I know that it's not gonna hit me in the face? Because somebody's holding it. Yeah, but well, why, did, why, when I let go of it, didn't it have a lot of energy? Wait a minute, when I had it up here, it had a bunch of gravitational potential energy. How come I knew it wasn't going to come back and hit me in the face? Because it's like it's the force of it. It's already spending as much time as energy is going forward than it is backwards. Okay, it's spending as much energy going forward as it is going backwards. But why do I know that it's not going to come any higher than from where I let, uh, let it go? Slowing down. Ah, okay, say, say that louder. Ah, this thing is actually going through the air. This is being rubbed on by the air. It's rubbing the air. Take your hands and do this. Okay? Feel what it feels like. What do you feel? I didn't feel soft. But can you feel heat happening? Okay, so what's happening with this is that it's actually warming up, warming up the air. And that's okay, Miles, Milo. That's great, Ashton. We don't, I don't need that one. Um, it's warming up the air. So... Here's a principle I need you to keep in mind for the next half hour. And you've got to really think it through with everything I do. Energy never disappears. It only changes form. OK, so uh, this is actually a solar energy demonstration. And you're like, what? We're indoors. There's no sun shining on us. How could this be a solar energy demonstration? Hang on, hang on a second. Now, I want, I'm going to act something out. You're, you're onto something. But I want you, I'm going to act something out, and I want you to tell me how it shows that this is actually a solar energy demonstration. OK, ready? OK, so you have to, I'm not going to say what I'm doing. You have to figure it out. Heat, chick, 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 chick. Heat, chick, chick, chick. Okay, now, how... Okay. 
Let's start with the let's start with the, the first part, the yellow. What do you think that might have represented? Corn. The sun, okay? This is corn. Okay? What's the process by which corn takes in the sun's energy and stores it as the bonds between the atoms in the molecules of starch or sugar? Photosynthesis. Photo means light. Synthesis means to put together. This has a bunch of energy stored in the molecules of starch and sugar that are in this corn. I feed it to my chicken, and I really do, and I really have chickens, and I really ate an egg. This is not made up. This is for real. I ate this egg, and this egg had energy of the sun in it that came sun to corn, corn to, to chicken, chicken to egg, egg to Jeff, Jeff to now what form is the energy when it's raised up? Yeah, but what form, what do we call this when it's up and it can, you have the potential young piston to, potential, what kind of potential? Gravitational potential energy. Okay, this can fall due to gravity. Then it falls and it's moving. What kind of energy is it when it's moving? It's kinetic energy, the energy of movement. Excellent. And it comes up here, it's got gravitational potential again, it comes back. But it can't get any new energy unless you had run here and given it a shove when I was blindfolded. Then it would have hit me in the face because some of your breakfast would have been added to the system. But as long as the system is closed, it, you, can't gain, you can't gain any energy. Now, I want to ask you to reflect on these super balls that I have. I got these super balls from a science supply place. And they came in this little container. And they said they were really great super balls. Okay. They said that these balls would bounce higher than the height from which I dropped them. So if I dropped them here, it would bounce higher. And I was like, dang, they're expensive, but if they bounce high, do you think that's possible for them to bounce higher than, I'm not going to throw it, I'm just going to drop it. Bounce higher than the height from which I dropped it. No. What? Wait a minute, stop and think about what we just did. Could it gain any energy after I let go of it? Did it, what, what, where is it going to come from? It's going to come from you. To I'm not throwing it. I'm dropping it. It's going, your energy is going in this. I've already lifted it. I'm done, li I'm done giving it energy. I'm done giving it energy. Well, let's try it. Let's just try it. Okay. We'll, we'll test out this Super Bowl. By the way, I could try it in my mind. I could imagine. Have I ever seen a Super Bowl that if I drop it from one millimeter, it'll go boing, 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 and keep going higher until it goes into outer space? I've never seen one that goes into outer space that way. Hmm, let's try it. I, I'm doubtful. How come it, every bounce is a little bit lower? Where'd the energy go? I thought energy never disappeared. Where'd it go? Into the ground. Into the ground and into your ears. Can you hear it? This is making the ground vibrate and you're, it's making the air vibrate and your ears are vibrating. When I do that, I'm warming up your ears with my breakfast, right? This potential energy. Kinetic, and then it turns into sound in part, and some of it turns back into some more potential. Now, just to, everybody seems to have that, just to test out, make sure everybody's good. If I have one that's higher, one that's higher up than, than another, you can come, you can come through, y'all. They're gonna that's fall fine. at the same time because of the same. No, they're gonna, fall, they're gonna fall at the same time, but I'm asking which one's gonna bounce higher? The one above. The one above, right? Because it's got more gravitational potential energy. I've given it more breakfast to get it up higher. Let's try it. Everybody ready? What? Wait a minute. No, they weigh the same. Oh, the vibration made it stop. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The vibration. Let's see if we can hear that it sounds different. Okay? Close your eyes for real. I'm going to drop one and then the other. You try to tell me if you can tell which one is which. Really close your eyes. Really close your eyes right now. Everybody got your eyes closed? Now listen, I'll be real quiet. This is A. This is B. Which one bounced? A. A bounced. Yeah, somebody said up there, B sounded louder, right? More of my breakfast was turned into sound in that situation. So yeah, it's true that this one has more gravitational potential energy, but so much of it gets turned into sound that it doesn't have any energy to turn back into kinetic energy into more gravitational on each bounce. This one was quieter. Would you want to really, if you wanted a great Super Bowl, would you want a quiet Super Bowl or a loud one? Quiet, because you wouldn't want to lose energy to, to the vibration of sound.